like share comment and follow today is the 1st of september uh, 2023 oh from a devastating fire in a hijacked building in Marshall Town, Johannesburg has reached 74 with many more injured according to SABC News. The cause of the fire remains unknown and the exact number of injured individuals is yet to be determined. Emergency services are conducting search operations in the building and the number of casualties is expected to rise. The injured are being transported to Helen Joseph Hospital and South Rand Hospital for treatment according to Gauteng Health MEC number 2 Nkomo Rale Hoko. The deceased will be taken to Deep Kloof Mortuary. SABC News site Nkomo Rale Hoko is saying, from outside because we are responsible for health and wellness, we have activated two hospitals, Helen Joseph and South Rand Hospitals. All those that are injured, uh, the CEOs are on site to make sure they get beds and get medical attention and I have my team since morning from the emergency side and is here with me together with the CEO of Forensic Pathology Services. So everyone who has demise we are taking to Deep Kloof and once the Kloof is full we'll be taking them to Hebrew. We keep on updating so that families must know where they can get their demise. The incident has been described as unfortunate by Johannesburg Mayor Kabilo Kwamanda, who mentioned that the building originally tended for rehabilitation displaced women was illegally occupied. Kwamanda said, It is unfortunate that we have to keep on responding to situations of this nature where a building is leased for the purpose of rehabilitation our society because it was an NGO that dealt specifically with displaced women. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, the building ended up serving a different purpose. Witnesses have reported the presence of squatter camps and sharks inside the building, contributing to overcrowding issues. Johannesburg Community Safety MMC Lady Squaku noted that locked gates within the building hindered people from escaping, leading to a high death toll. Squaku said the main reason here that there is a high death toll is that there is a lot of partitions and gates in between. They said people wanted to scream and get out but they could not. Many people's bodies were found actually stuck on that gate. The bottom line here, there is also people who had informal settlement sort of. Squawk also said the use of highly flammable materials such as wood in makeshift structures also worsen at the situation. So guys, and yesterday in Johannesburg, 74, in Zi, uh some of the people are actually foreign nationals from different countries, from Malawi, Tanzania, Zimbabwe maybe, and again, also South Africans were also among those 74. Actually, there could be more because uh, Nasi uh, Kwaya in Gwazi K4, Changiti Chaga Shakari, Mabidi, Momo Kunoti, Apani Yereva Nguanu, Wakatsaka Chika, Wanasiru Kone Gwanzi Warukupi, and again, because there are so many people who we are living in that building. Um, and we are going to have a lot of people who are going to the real cause of this fire is to investigate. We are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have there could be more but we'll be keeping you guys up to date here the latest on weekly news roundup on prince mila entertainment tv we wish a speedy recovery to those who are in hospital and in the matter of sikirwa in jobek yesterday and so weekly news roundup Let's go.